Mr. Chair, let me thank all the members who have spoken. In the past 50 years, HDB has implemented one of the most successful public housing programs in the world, with over 90% proud owners of their homes. But more than mere physical space, as Minister Kaur has reminded us, we have provided shelters for our young and old, we have helped newlyweds to form families, we have built three-gen flats to allow for intergenerational care. In short, we have realised the goal of providing an enduring home to every family. As our population grows, we need to build new towns. As our demographic profile changes, we are sprucing up old towns to cater for new needs. Mr Chair, MND has in 2013 announced building three new housing areas in Tampines North, Bidadari and Pongo North Shore. May I seek your permission to display some slides on the screen? Giving due consideration to connectivity and eco features, we have designed the three housing areas with distinctive community spaces and greenery, seamless pedestrian links and ample amenities. Tampines North, for instance, will enjoy a 7.5 hectare boulevard park as a green shoot that runs through the estate. It will have a 10 hectare quarry park, providing green spaces and community facilities for residents. Precincts further away from the green shoot will enjoy their own dedicated local parks. We launched the first 1,500 units of BTO flats called Tampines Green Ridges last year. We will launch another 1,200 units for sale this year. Bidadari residents will also be able to enjoy its rolling landscape and rich heritage in the form of the new El Calf Lake and Heritage Walk. Bidadari will also feature an integrated development at its centre with a bus interchange, food centre and social communal facilities. We will launch the first 2,000 units of BTO flats in Bidadari later this year. Ms. Penilo will be pleased to note that the latest housing district in Pongo, called Pongo North Shore, will house Pongo's first seafront public housing. It builds upon the plans for Pongo to be a smart and sustainable town and features smart car park monitoring system, smart lighting and a pneumatic waste conveyance system amongst others. Flat buyers can look forward to 4,100 units to be launched this year. Pongo residents can also look forward to the completion of Waterway Point and Coney Island Park later this year. Safra Clubhouse will open next year. Coney Island Park will be strong. Nature focus will preserve the rustic charm of Pongo. Some of the planned amenities are outside the town centre and we will work closely with other agencies to ensure that the supporting infrastructure keeps pace. As Ms. Lowe reminded this House, these new developments are opportunities not only for innovating infrastructure hardware, but also for developing better community software and to build hardware. HDB welcomes the local community's suggestions. 这些市政虽然年纪比较大，但是因为他们有着便利的交通和呃完善的设施，如今还是深受原居民和新居民的喜爱。通过再创我们的家园翻新计划，我们有系统的翻新旧市政。再创家园翻新计划是一项规模庞
更棒的是，这个首先允许年轻夫妇和父母在新的多代同堂计划下购买一大一小两个呃单位在一起的主屋发展的项目。以陈立豪先生为例，他先购买了一个五房式单位，而他的父母则购买另外一个小型公寓单位。杜生格能够帮助家庭把关系变得更紧密，我们为他们感到高兴。过去八年来，易顺经历了很大程度的改变。这个市政的翻新工作虽然目前还在进行中，但是我们已经能够看到许多改进了的地方。纳福坊购物中心的翻新工作于2008年完成，里头有一座新的公共图书馆，矗立在易顺湖旁边的邱德发医院，也在2010年投入服务。而湖旁边的一座三层楼高的瞭望塔，也紧接着在隔年落成。易顺的居民对于新的措施感感到相当的满意。这位是 Samuel Steven 和他的表兄弟 Lawrence Augustine。Samuel 告诉我们说，新的易顺湖清脆美丽。对于建筑，对于建筑发展局在展开再创家园翻新计划的翻新工程时候，能够征求居民的意见。谢淼感到非常满意。易顺的新措施的确为不同年龄的居民带来更大的便利，为他们增添了生活的乐趣。图书馆、民众俱乐部、易顺公园、呃纳福物、纳福坊购物中心和清水湾等等措施，应该说是呃应有尽有。这些设施提供了居民互动和增进社区联系的公共空间。我们希望那里的居民能够善用这些空间，一起参与活动，联系邻里，打造一个温馨的现代干榜。今天我很高兴地宣布第三批加入再创我们家园的翻新计划的新呃市镇。第一个是大巴窑，我们计划翻新大巴窑镇中心，以及改善那里的步行街和公共空间。我们将重新发展大巴窑的市政公园，并且改善公园与镇中心之间的联系。除此之外，汤森东海岸地铁线上的加里谷地铁站也将为大巴窑的居民带来更多的便利。我们计划在这个地铁站的周围建造更多的主屋和公园，为市政注入生气。和为有意在大巴窑居住的人提供更多的住屋选择。第二个市政是雾兰，我们将善用于柔佛海峡的远海地带，打造更多的休闲空间，并且开放整个滨水区域，让公众享用。我们也会在雾兰北开发由青葱绿意围绕、有具有吸引力的住宅项目。白沙是第三个被翻新的呃市镇，我们将注入新的发展项目，把市中心改造的更有活力。我们也计划改进更多的邻里中心和公园，并且推出更多适合于家庭的休闲活动。我以上提到的都只是初步的构想，接下来的几个月，我们将征询居民和社区代表的意见，改善并加强这些计划。我期盼这三个市政的居民能够踊跃地提出意见，和我们联手打造更好的居住环境。Remaking of Heartland, we are also investing in sustainable solutions for older towns. In 2012, HTB piloted the 23 million green print program in Yuhua. Under the program, residents enjoy eco solutions and community initiatives. Here are some. Yuhua residents enjoying the community parklet, one of the green print initiatives. The pilot project is well received. We will select and announce another precinct for HDB green print to further test some of the initiatives in the coming months. Chair, members are well aware that HDB has carried out the 5 billion lift upbringing program to benefit 500,000 households in the past 15 years. Last year, we further introduced a 94 million uh, selective lift replacement program to help town councils replace old lifts. The new lifts will be more energy efficient, allow better wheelchair access, and incorporate various safety and security features, such as vision, 
panels and infrared door safety sensors. For about 200 or so blocks that could not benefit from LUP because of technical constraints and prohibitively high cost, HDB is still testing various leaf solutions. Meanwhile, residents without leaf access and who have medical needs can contact HDB for assistance. <coughs> Next, let me talk about Home Improvement Program, HDB introduced in 2007. This is a highly subsidized program. The government spends up to $25,600 per household, depending on the flat type and improvements selected. We have selected 14, sorry, 140,000 households so far since its introduction in 2007, and it has proven so popular that we have increased the pace several times to 28,000 households in 2012, uh, 35,000 in 2013, uh, last year, and to 50,000 households this year, and next. In 2012, we also introduced the enhancement for Active Seniors East program at a cost of $260 million to support our aging population. Over 46,000 households have, adopted, have opted for East so far. Last year, just two years after introduction, we expanded East to offer a slip uh, resistant treatment and grab bars for the second toilet. We also lowered the age criterion for seniors to apply for ease. We have also enhanced neighbourhood renewal program last year. It will cover more blocks, provide additional works with an increasing budget. We now spend up to 4700 per flat, up from the initial budget of 3400 Another 45,000 households will benefit from NRP over these two years, bring the total to 189,000 households by the end of 2016. Since 2007, HTB has spent 8.4 million under the revitalization of shops or ROS program to help participating shops spruce up their common areas and add new awnings and shop directories and organize promotional activities. One in two HDB shops island-wide have benefited so far. To prepare for the next phase of ROS, I will set up a new committee to take in views and suggestions from merchant associations, retailers and grassroots organisations. As we reflect on our housing achievements in the last five decades in the midst of celebrating SG50, I think it is also important for us to think how we can better preserve Kampong spirit in our HDB neighbourhoods. This is why, besides building physical spaces, we always encourage community coming together to connect and discuss issues close to their hearts 